This is class 10 ICAC Maths paper 2023 which was today between 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. I have already uploaded the first look at the paper earlier today and then the second video with MCQs and now we are going to start with question 2 and question 3 of section A. As you know section A is for 40 marks and 15 marks I have already solved and posted it up. Now let us look at the remaining 25 marks. Your question 2 as you can see this is 12 marks 4 4 4 and question 3 is going to be 4 4 and 5 so that is going to be 13 marks and so let us look at question 2. Question 2 the first part find the value of a if x minus a is a factor of the polynomial 3x cubed plus x squared minus ax minus 81. Now if x minus a is a factor x minus a equal to 0 that will give us x equal to a yes and now the polynomial will write as f of x equal to 3x cubed plus x squared minus ax minus 81. But because x is equal to a, we will now substitute x as a. So f of a becomes 3a cubed plus a squared minus a into x means a into a that is a squared minus 81. Now this gets cancelled. Now f of a remember is the remainder and the remainder is going to be 0 then it's a factor. So I'm writing here 0 is equal to 3a cubed minus 81 and this will be by which theorem? By the factor theorem. Okay. So 0 is equal to 3 into a cube minus 3 goes 27 times here. So you will have therefore 0 equal to a cube minus 27 yes. Therefore you will have a cube equal to 27 and that will give us therefore a equal to 3 and that is our answer. Now let us look at the second one. Salman deposits 1000 rupees every month in recurring deposit account for 2 years. So our principal is rupees 1000 and our time is 24 months and he receives which means maturity value is rupees 26,000 and we have to find the total interest so the interest is equal to how much and the rate of interest is how much let us write our formula mv is equal to come on you know the formula p into m plus interest so we will have 26,000 equal to p into m means 1000 multiplied by 24. So I will write 24,000 plus interest and therefore the interest is 26,000 minus 24,000 which is rupees 2000. And that is our answer one. Now in order to find the rate of interest, we could just use the interest formula that will be P into N into N plus 1 upon 2 into R upon 100 into 1 upon 12. So interest is 2000 and that is equal to P means 1000 into 24 is the number of months into 24 plus 1 means 25 upon 2 into r upon 100 into 1 upon 12. Let us see how easy our calculations are. So 12 ones and 12 twos, 2 ones and 2 ones here. So that will give us therefore 2000 is equal to 25 into 10 that is 250 r and therefore we will have r equal to 
2000 upon 250 and so 0 0 gets cancelled 25 8 so that will be 8 percent per annum and that is going to be our second answer and that will be easily giving us half 4 marks let us look at question number 2 sub part 3 in this diagram CE is the tangent so we have CE tangent to the circle at A angle A BD is 26 so this is given as 26 BDA is this now can you see over here AB is the diameter so this becomes angle in a semicircle so our first statement will be AB is diameter which is given so statement to angle BDA is equal to 90 degrees and that is from statement 1 since angle in semicircle equals 90 degrees BAD so we got this one as 90 degrees BAD is this this angle over here for that we'll have to make use of this triangle so 90 plus 26 plus BAD is 180 correct so angle BAD plus 90 degrees plus 26 degrees equal to 180 degrees since angles of triangle BAD are supplementary and therefore angle BAD is going to be equal to 90 degrees minus 26 degrees which is equal to 64 degrees and that is our answer 2 this is our answer 1 let us look at CAD now CAD is this angle it is the angle between the tangent and the chord at the point of contact so this is the angle in the alternate segment so we will say angle CAD equal to angle ABD equal to 26 degrees and this will be because of alternate segment theorem and that is our answer 3. This is pretty simple the question ODB. ODB is this one here. Now we will have to use this triangle for that. OD is equal to OB equal to radii of the same circle yes therefore angle opposite this will be OBD equal to opposite will this will be angle ODB will be equal to 26 degrees can you see this is 26 so this also will be 26 and this will be from statement 5 and angles opposite equal sides are equal in which triangle it is OBD okay now they ask you ODB can you see this ODB so we'll put a box around this and we will say that is our answer 4 so that finishes our 4 marks and we see how easy it was to get up four marks. Now question number three, the first part. Solve the following quadratic equations. Give your answers correct to one decimal place. Use mathematical tables if necessary. So question three, first part. We have x squared plus 4x minus 8 equal to 0. So your a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 c is equal to minus 8 okay now discriminant which is b square minus 4ac will give us b square is 4 square 
minus 4 into 1 into minus 8 and that will be 16 minus into minus is plus 32 so that will give us a uh, 48 that is our discriminant you could even say that this is 16 into 3 so your under root b squared minus 4 ac which is going to be under root 16 into 3 which is going to give you 4 root 3 which is 4 into 1.732 so even if you don't use the mathematical table it's fine okay so 4 2 is 8 4 3 is 12 carry 1 4 7 is 28 29 carry 2 4 1 is 4 and 2 6 so 6.928 is the discriminant so our x value is going to be minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4 ac upon 2a so that will make it minus 4 plus or minus root of this will be 6.928 this is 8 right upon 2 into a is 1 so that would give us minus 4 plus this is going to give you plus 2.928 upon 2 or if it is minus 4 minus this then minus 10.928 upon 2 that would give us 2 1s, 2 4s, 2 6s and 2 4s or here it will be minus 2 5s 10 point 2 4s 8, 2 6s 12 and 2 4s now they are saying one decimal place that is up to here like so. So that is going to give us 1.5 or minus 5.5. So therefore the solution set is minus 5.5 comma 1.5 and that is our answer. Let us look at our second part. Prove the following identity. So definitely we will have to start with LHS. Our LHS is going to be equal to sine square theta minus 1 into bracket tan square theta plus 1 and plus 1. Now 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So sine square theta minus 1 would be minus cos square theta let us see now tan square theta plus 1 now 1 plus tan square is equal to sec square theta and this is plus 1 so that would give us minus cos square theta into 1 upon cos square theta plus 1 now this got cancelled and you will have minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 0 which is equal to RHS and we'll say hence proved. This was also pretty simple right. Now next we have to take the graph sheet and we have to take 2 cm equal to 1 unit and A, B, C these ones are there. Reflect A and B in x axis and name it like so. Reflect B through the origin name it f write down the coordinates of f reflect b and c in y axis name them h and g and join these points so first we'll have to plot these points and then we'll have to connect them and then we'll have to answer the remaining questions now we have the graph sheet over here they have asked us to plot a 0 comma 4 so here it is on y axis b is 1 comma 1 and C is 4 comma 0. We have to reflect A and B in X axis. And so A becomes here E which is 0 comma minus 4. 
B is reflected here as D which will be 1 comma minus 1. Next B has to be reflected in the origin to F. So B 1 comma 1 becomes minus 1 comma minus 1. Then we have B is reflected in Y axis as H. This will be minus 1 comma 1 and also we'll have C to be reflected here as a G so that G becomes minus 4 comma 0. Now they are telling us part A is plot ABC so we'll have A 0 comma 4 B is 1 comma 1 and C is 4 comma 0. Our B answer reflecting a as E in x axis, so E is 0, comma minus 4, and B is reflected to D, so D is 1, comma minus 1. We come to C, reflect B through origin to F, so our F becomes minus 1, comma minus 1. Then we come to D reflect B and C in Y axis to H and G. So H has become here, here, minus 1 comma 1 and G is where C is reflected. It is minus 4 comma 0. Then we have E join A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A. So we join these and our E part says that closed figure, this one, what is it? Now, some of you will think that, oh, it looks like a star. But you cannot write it as star. Why? Because it is a many-sided figure over here. How many sides does it have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's an octagon, but it's not a regular octagon in the sense that it is it is not a convex octagon. It is a concave octagon because of these angles. Can you see these angles here? These ones are more than 180 degrees. But also, can you see, are they equal sided figures? So it will be not just concave octagon, but it will be a regular It will be a regular octagon, but it will be concave. All right, so that is our answer. And this was for five marks. So we have one mark, two mark, three mark, four mark, five mark. So that finishes our question three. Now we finish section A. Now section B will be another video. All right, so let us stop over here. Now you all relax. I'll also relax. And now we will think about the other papers think about the next paper while i adjust i'm going to take a little break and we will see the next few questions in section b in the next video okay bye